we're going to talk about how to increase your net worth. And I have a favor to ask right off the cuff. If you know exactly what a net worth is, please put that in the comments. If you don't know what a net worth is, also put that in the comments. Now, what we're going to talk about are strategies and techniques to increase your net worth. Now, here's the disclaimer. If you're looking for something that's going to happen in a matter of weeks or months, I have nothing for you. You may want to turn off the video and go somewhere else. But if you're looking for a sustainable and durable way to increase your net worth year after year after year, stay tuned. I'll wait until the herd clears the room. Let's see. All right. I think the room's clear. If you don't know who I am, I'm Glendon Cameron, founder of Every Man's a Millionaire and founder of Disruptive Mail. We have a lot of channels going on here. Be sure to check them out. What we talk about here is how to become rich or wealthy through the utilization of businesses. You can have one business, you can have two. I currently have three businesses and use this to gain net worth. Use this to build net worth. You have a lot of people who are not building a net worth and they're in the negative. Give you an example. Say you're 30 something, you and your wife, you have a home, you have two cars with car payments, your house has a payment on it, your furniture's not paid for it. You have more than likely a negative net worth because you don't own anything. And for you minimalist people who don't want to own anything, you're messing yourself up. And I'll explain why, because I get it. The accumulation of experiences is a wonderful thing. Not to be tied down by things and stuff is also a wonderful thing. But if you're not building some assets somewhere in the long run, it is going to hurt you. Seriously. So we're going to do a little housekeeping here. Make sure I get into the chat room. Today is the last day for the current pricing, which is below this video for Hustler Undergrad, a school to teach you how to sell, start a business and how to market and the art of holding companies which is part of what I'm going to talk about today with creating net worth. Now, the art of holding companies is inclusive with Hustler Undergrad, but today is the last day that you can get in. Around 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock tonight, I'm going to shut it off and you will not be able to sign up tomorrow because tomorrow we're doing the art of holding companies webinar and we're going to talk about building net worth how to create a holding company. And to answer a question, someone got real cute and it's like a shell company. Let me get you hip to some, you know, this thing that Michael Cohen and Donald Trump are in it's over a shell company. And even before Robert Mueller and other people started investigating this shell company, the banks were putting reports on this company cause it didn't look right. And I'm going to jump in that right now. The days of just creating a shell company, an LLC, a C Corp with no articles of incorporation, no real articles of organization, no specificity, no purpose. That's over. You go into a bank and you sign up for a business checking account. Then all of a sudden you just start running massive amounts of money in there. And these people at the banks are trained to ask you questions. They're trained to look for fraud. So you just have this shell company with no real meat onto it. Not only that, it can be invalidated in court. Let's say you have an empty shell company or a naked shell company, no real articles of organization. If it's an LLC, you go to court, you get sued. And just to be clear and to give you full disclosure, if you are not making any money, you don't have any assets. Your chances of being sued are pretty small. However, if that company starts making some money, some real money, your chances of being sued go up exponentially. And if you have a flimsy or naked LLC structure, a judge could say, well, there's really not a lot of separation between you and this business. So they can now come after your personal assets and it's happening every day because people just think, well, I got an LLC and I'm protected. That isn't the case especially if you're making some money, ain't the case at all. Now, 
how does one build net worth within a year or a little bit over a year? First of all, <laughs> you got to write down everything that you own. I know that's going to be hard for a lot of people. Uh, there are going to be many folks who they're going to struggle with it because if you know that your money situation is kind of funky, if you know that your money situation is kind of janky, more than likely you're not going to want to participate into this exercise, but it's something that you're going to need to do. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're just going to talk about <laughs> that was interesting. Let's get rid of that. This is the net worth exercise. I want you to take a sheet of paper and write down everything that you own. Before you can start to change this stuff, you need to know what this stuff is. You need to know how much you owe, um, what are your liabilities. So you write down everything. And this would include student loans, mortgages, car payments, everything. So once you have all of your potential assets, and we'll talk about that in a minute, then you minus your liabilities. And that looks crazy. Liabilities, let's say you own a horse. Yeah, you could own a horse, but let's say you own a home, right? Well, your mortgage is a liability. Now, why is it a liability? Because you don't own that puppy. So at any point that you get behind in payments, someone can take it away from you. And even after it's paid off, your home could still be a liability because of taxes. If you don't pay your taxes, they will sell your home on the courthouse steps. So anything that can take money out of your pocket is a liability or it does take money on a regular basis. Car payments. And this is a big wealth destroyer right here. So once you do all that, you subtract your liabilities and what you have left over is your net worth or negative net worth. That's what's left over. All right, so let's just come out here and let's make this look a little bit better. Okay. So we will do this to give you guys perspective. You have a house. Let's say your house is 350K. And you have equity of 200K. So minus the 150K, you have a positive net worth of $50. I know y'all was like, yay, you know, I got 200. No, because you still got this. This still distracts. So you have a net worth of $50. Let's say you have a car and cars will be red. You have a, uh, let's say a BMW and you have $5,000 in equity, but you owe 20000 so you're 15 in the red and this 15 now reduces your positive net worth down to 35. See, that's how it works because it all flows on the same balance sheet. So any of this stuff that you owe more on it, you have no net worth into it. It all will drag this down. And let's say you have credit cards and you owe 20K. 
minus 20k <laughs> you see where it's going uh, now your net worth is down to 15,000 oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you got student loans my bad and you owe 50,000 so now you're in a negative net worth of 35 Okay. This is how the net worth game works. Now, what's really interesting with this is there are many people due to spending, they have no negative, they have no net worth. They're in the negative. So the first step that you got to do, you got to stop spending today. If you're one of those people like I said, uh, if you're just coming in, I want you to write down everything that you own and subtract your liabilities, which would be the amounts of money that you own this stuff. So you got to stop spending today and you have to go on a financial diet. Because if you have a negative net worth, it's more than likely not going to get better unless you do something to make it better. So you stop spending. And next thing we're going to look for is additional income. Most of the stuff in the money sphere is about managing your money, managing your income, and not really about increasing it, which I find to be very strange. Because this additional income is going to be the big mover. So you're going to stop spending. Then you're going to have additional income then you're going to have the five bank accounts. And then let's see. Make this a little fatter. So you're going to have expense, operating, and this is on the personal and business side, operating, saving, merchant, and invest now you can go to your credit union and do this or your bank and whatever fees they charge you don't worry about it because once you start lathering money in here then you will have enough money in the account to keep from paying the bank fees so this is what you this the, these are the three steps that you must do now when this new money comes in We'll just call that new money. You can't spend it. New money goes into these accounts. Operating, merchant, all this. And then your check from your job goes there. Now, what you're going to do if your job is covering all your bills, hopefully it is, then you're going to pay all your bills out your expense account. Well, your operating account, my bad. You're going to pay, well, I'll just get rid of that. You're going to pay everything out of your operating account. You're going to learn to manage money better. So expense so the first six months you should be saving this new money into these four these four accounts because hopefully your job covers all your expenses now let's see uh, I'm gonna get in here for some questions real quick and make sure that y'all are still with me are we still in this thing together? All right. We got, what's up, Ganja? Thank you for being the moderator. Pretty much Frank, Ray. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, Daniel Moody, it is below the video. Once again, for those of you who are interested in a real financial education, today's the last day that you can get 
Hustle undergrad for 160 a month for 20 months. And it's the last day that you can get the art of holding for a hundred bucks a month for 50. Um, pretty much, <clears throat> but once again, the taxes are really, really small compared to anything else. All right. I'll, I'll go over that toward the end because I've been talking about it for two weeks. No car payments since 2014, Tim A. I like that saying 285 property. Awesome, Rudy Law. Awesome. Congratulations. No, you don't put down your kids as liability. Stop that. All right. Okay. So let's get back in here. All right. Stop spending today. Now, six months. Now, why are you going to do six months? You must train yourself to start handling money. Uh, most people, their checking account looks like a launch pad. Money comes in and pow, it it's immediately comes out. It's paying bills and there's hardly any money in there. So during this six-month intern, you'll have money in your operating account, savings account, merchant account, investment, and your expenses, you're going to write out your household bills, your health insurance, whatever you have to pay for. That comes out of this. Now, this is where the magic starts. Let's go six months in the future. All right, so let's say your side hustle makes you 1500. So 1500, let me make sure that I got this correct. Okay. So your 1500 is divided by four. So that's going to be 375. I'm just using the number per your accounts. So you're going to put 375 into each one of those accounts. So six months, six times. So in six months, you should have 9,000, a little less or more, depending upon how strong your side hustle is. Now, if you follow everything I said and you've been paying all your bills out of your operating account, and I'll, I'll write this again. Operating expense merchant so everybody has like a PayPal account, Square account, savings, investment. So in a few months, you should have enough money in all of these accounts where you're not paying, you're paying no bank fees. You'll pay them for a little while. Now, you're, you move into a very strong position because now you have between all of these, 9,000. So you're in the position to pay off debt because one of the reasons that I say don't pay the debt, just use your check, which goes in here, and you, you get yourself some money. Now you look at all your bills and stuff, and we're going to talk about a few more things. If you got a bill that you can pay like 2,000 and it's done, you do it. But what you do is you pay the high interest bills first. Whatever has the highest interest rate, that's what you pay off first. Then once that's paid off, then you take your money and you pay off the second highest interest rate. So in a very short period of time, what's going to happen, and this will even work for student loans, because it's going to be very hard for you to build wealth when you have a lot of debt. I know you'll have many people who's like, hey, I got a loan. Now, once again, 
getting a business loan for a business is totally different than having $50,000 worth of personal credit card debt. It's totally different than having $50,000 worth of student loan debt. That business debt is going to help you make more money. This other stuff is just garbage and trash. And it will weigh you down for years, if not the rest of your life, if you don't handle it. So this is the matrix. Now, you got your side hustle. And you should be pushing on your side hustle to make more money each month. There is no end point. Side hustle to make more money. Now, some other strategies. If you have a car that you can get rid of and go out and pay cash for a car and it's not going to hurt you too bad to get out that car, do it. If you have two car notes, let me show you what, what's going on with this. Say your car notes, 500 bucks, right? And let's say you make $30,000 a year. Your car note is not 500 bucks plus insurance, which is probably, let's just say insurance is a hundred plus gas, which is 250. So your actual cost of ownership of that car is 850 per month. And 850 per month Do the math on that times 12 is $10,200 or more than a third of your gross income. When I was in the military, I used to always have money until I got a car. And I remember we were all sitting around the quad one day talking about it. But, and it's because of this. We went from having no bills, no debt, nothing to now this car. And because we we're all young men, our insurance was stupid high. We had no money, but we had a car that was going down in price. But we were still paying that locked in price. So until you get to where you want to be, get yourself a point A to point B car. The game of this is to build net worth and you're going to have to do some different strategies. You're going to have to do maybe some radical stuff, but you will never ever get wealthy or rich in America playing the consumer debt game. It's not going to happen right now. There are old people who are on social security who are getting their checks garnished because they signed off for their kids student loans. The game is real. So that's one of the things you're going to do. All right. So let's see where we are with this. Uh, I think self lenders garbage. I really do. We're not selling the kids, man. We're not selling the kids. Don't do self lender. I'm going to tell you why you don't want to do self lender. You want to do a secure credit card that graduates because if it graduates and you do everything you need to do, you get that trade line and the older it becomes, the more it helps you. The self lender thing is garbage in my opinion. All right. So let's just kind of get into this why you want to create your holding company because we're going to go deep into this tomorrow. Let's say you're a regular citizen and you don't know what you want to do. You, you've got all these ideas. Maybe you want to do a media company. Maybe you want to do a real estate company. You don't know. You can create your holding company and then you can create an operating company. A house, you're dropping off 100 to 200K off of your net worth. This is why I was talking about a lot of you millennials, you want to travel. You don't want to be tied to anything. When you get old, it's going to bite you in the ass. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. I have no 
car payment, have a coupe, and people always tell me to get a new car, but I do better than that. And this is one of the things that when you're building wealth, you're going to have to stop listening to other people because uh, one of the deals is you have people who have no money telling people with money and assets what to do. Now, I want you to really think, and this, this is a big problem in America. People who don't have money frequently tell people with money and assets what they should do with it. Now, really think about that. Uh, someone yesterday when I was talking about the, uh, one of the, the, the things that's going to be in the first webinar, he's like, you're talking about renting the house. I hit him up. like, have you done it? Because see, you got a lot of people out here that are intellectually lazy and they'll put something in there that may or may not be true, but because they haven't, they've never done it. Because the thing is, when you rent your house to your business, that triggers another tax consequence. And if you don't do it a certain way, which I'll show you, I'll break it all out, then um, it ain't going to work. It's just not going to work. And I had someone say, like, hey, why don't you just give this information for free? Great question. I gave this information away for free for six months, and 95% of the people who signed up didn't do anything with it. You want to know why? Because it was for free. They had no skin in the game. They had no motivation. So that's why I don't give away this kind of information for free because this is going to be the wealth game. And I know a lot of you think that I'm just blowing smoke and I'm just talking. I'm just trying to get you to buy the package. Once again, Chris Torres, I just told him to take a walk. Is either he's going to learn to listen and be patient or he can go. It's just that simple. Because the way that I designed this is I'm going to have people who are patient hardworking and dutiful uh yeah that would be the internet mental shelly people who are bald kids should be able to grow hair i mean that, that's the reality man that's the reality yeah, uh, typically, if there's lag, it will clear up on the replay. And one of the things is, I'm going to be very, very direct. I'm not going to be your buddy. I'm not going to be your pal. Because if you do these things within a year, a year, you can have a higher net worth than the average person in America. Because I've been looking at this stuff and I've been working on the art of holding company. I'm, I'm just like blown away. 70% of the people in America... If they don't have a house, their net worth is like 38 to 68 K. That's it. If they do have a house, it goes up to uh, 160 to 200 because of that house. And if you go to the 9.9%, which has a net worth of 1.5 million up to 5 million, most of that is in their real estate. So once you get past five million, then you get into uh, business owners, uh, long-term surgeons with in a specialty who stack some assets. It's a whole different ball game. All right. Chris ain't going to win. I see that right now. All right. Uh, any more questions? Because this is a real simple and direct way for you to build wealth. You got to stop spending. You got you. You must make additional income. And this is one of the things we we're talking about in Hustle Underground. We're going to push you to make additional income. You, you can't quit your job. You, you just can't quit your job. Not now. And I know there are many people who are pushing for that. But that's a lot of stress and a lot of freelancers end up going back to work because they can't make it out here in these mean entrepreneur streets. All right. So let's get into this. Let's see. Where, where are we with this? And it's going to be some crankiness in here, too. Um, OK, cool. So let's go here.
And one of the reasons that people can't find stuff is I've locked it all down because in the middle of the night, I'll get someone that'll hit me up about a $90 purchase and they, they'll have six and seven questions. It ain't worth my time to answer those six and seven questions when I got all the stuff that's going on and I will break that down for you. Alrighty. So not to use my internet here. I got because the internet at my house sucks. It really does. Okay. So I have to resort to all kinds of stuff. Here we go. And probably will not be logged in since this is. All right. So we'll, we'll go through Hustler undergrad and let's see. Um, that's not going to work. Did not know we had it like that. That's interesting. Oh, crap. Hold on a second. So I'm going to sign in. There we go. All right. Courses. All right. So there's only two things that I'm selling. The Hustler undergrad and the art of holding companies. So we will get into Hustler undergrad first. All right, so this is what you get here. You get the Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. How to Never Be Broke Again, The $25 Hustle, all of this stuff. Now, what's going to happen is, all right, cool. I'm going to add the Art of Holding Companies, all those series of webinars, to probably this one for you guys. So this is where this will be, and I'll send out instructions and let you know where it's going to be. And then the other webinars, I will add to appropriate things. And when we get to webinars that don't make any sense to add anything, I will add them to this blank course space. So that way I don't have to send you new links and have to add you to courses. I will let you know, I am changing the domain name of this, but I'm going to do this like the first of the next month. I'm not going to do it now. That would just cause too, many, too much confusion. All right, so this is what you get. And what we're going to do with Hustler Undergrad is teach you how to sell. That's the, the first thing. That's the most important thing. You need to learn how to sell. We're going to teach you how to market. We're going to teach you how to start a side hustle. This is going to take a little time. And once you graduate for Hustler Undergrad, and no additional cost, we're going to move you to Disruptive Money Consulting because right now I'm consulting with a, a bunch of people who are helping me build that program. So that's where you guys are going to go in about 20 months, 21 months, depending on when you sign up and you'll get in that. Now, why are we doing this? Because one of the biggest problems I have is I have people who are unseasoned and they're hitting me up with a lot of questions and we have this dichotomy of a problem. These folks need a lot of help, but they don't have the money to pay for a lot of help. Then me, I'm giving a lot of help and I'm not getting paid what I'm worth. So this creates a conflict. So my effort to solve this conflict was to create these group classes because twice a month, we're going to have live webinars. So you're going to have this basic knowledge that you can study and use. And then twice a month, we're going to have an active webinar. The first series of webinars are going to be the art of holding companies because you need to go ahead and get your LLCs set up together and all these other things. And then we'll, after the art of holding companies, we'll talk about how to set up an operating company and other stuff to give you the information in a sensible, 
sane manner where the steps build upon each step. So that's what we're going to do. And then now that you have a side hustle or a small business, in addition to your job, then we're going to put you into the disruptive money consulting program because now you have a business, you have additional income. Now you need to sharpen up your game. Now you need to get into systems and processes and for to give you the systems and the processes in the upper level game before you even have the basic game, it's going to be too much. And it isn't because you're stupid or anything like that. It's just when you go to college, you're, you're not taking classes that you take in your fourth year, your first year. There's a reason. So that's how we're going to do that. And uh, what's going to happen? It's going to close like today at first thing in the morning. And then around 3 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to have the Art of Holding Company's first webinar. And I'm going to break down some that I'm currently doing. And I'm going to give you all of the strategies. And more importantly, I'm going to give you the terminology. There's a lot of people out here who are using certain words that are they're not using them the right way. And I see it. It's just all across the Internet space. And you don't understand. And the, the, how you use these words, how you use these words in your LLC, how you use these words with your banking are super important. So that's what's going to go with that. All right. So before I jump to something else, let me go in here and see. Man, you know, it's been lovely for the last few weeks. Then it got to be all crazy. Uh, one man's way. The one the holding company live stream is a paid class. It will not be on YouTube. I'm going to do a regular webinar for students of Hustle Undergrad. It will not be on YouTube. I know Filthy Rich, but people don't understand because uh, there's a lot of people who think a million dollars is in every drawer. And they're like, you know, you're only making 35000 a year. But for some reason, two or three million in a lottery, it ain't enough. Madness. I like this one man's way. I know how to sell and market. It cost me 50K. Once you learn how to sell and market, once whatever costs you pay, that is done. Is in it this these are skills that will last you for the rest of your life. Okay. So let me Marketing is everything, man. All right, so now let's go back to this. Let's go back to the bundles. All right. Now, this is going to be the art of holding companies. And this is hidden because I don't want people just signing up because what happens is People sign up and they'll email me in the middle of the night and they'll email me two or three times because they pay so much money. Like, I'm not supposed to be asleep. It's crazy. All right. Currently, it is $14.99. You know, if you can find the link, good luck with that. But um, what we're going to talk about is how to, and here's everything that's in it. One, two, three, four, I, five courses. And what I'm going to do is add the art of holding companies webinars here because I'll have to do two uploads, but you know, versus just sending out trying to add people to these courses and then make sure like people get it. It I've been through that before. It's a nightmare. So if you've signed up for hustler undergrad, you've already got this on your dashboard. I don't have to send you anything. It's already there. So the art of holding companies will do with that. And then the other LLC type stuff will go into the appropriate, uh, probably go with organ here, organize, probably there. So why do you want to be in the art of holding companies? Well, right now, depending on how much you make, you're sitting on $2,500 to $20,000 that you can't use and what we're going to do in the art of holding companies is teach you how to extract that money out of your life. Let me say that again. 
teach you how to extract that money out of your life. Depending upon how much money you make, like if you make hardly any money, no, you don't have $20,000. But if you're making, um, let's say you're making like $80,000, you're going to be paying about $20,000 in taxes if you make 80. That's a lot of money. That's a whole bunch of money. If you make 100K, you're going to pay 25 to 33,000 in taxes. And this is not money you're getting back. So we're going to address that. We're going to give you strategies. We're going to give you a situation to set all that up. Then we will talk about, because, you know, it's going to be one webinar where we'll be talking about the holding company strategies plus some other strategies that you need to know about. And then the next webinar, we're going to talk about operating companies. Uh, how to set certain things up. And then we're going to infuse corporate law with, well, we're going to excuse, we're going to set your LLCs up where they're not naked holding companies. Uh, back to that. Uh, you have a lot of people who are, who are LLCs or time bombs because they think that they went to legal zone and they have just a shell corporation. There are no articles of organization in nothing. Just they're there, but they're flimsy. And if you get in a major lawsuit, I guarantee you judge is going to invalidate this because it's just you. And there's really no separation between you and your business. I'm going to teach you how to separate yourself from your business for real, for real. So we'll be talking about that. All right. So let me see what's going on here. <laughs> Dang, Pamela. I used to say two to three. I mean, um, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, BGS Igmore. Last night, he he broke down some stuff. Similar things have been breaking down. And it, it, he didn't do it for just the general population, but he did it for black men. Do you know there's only 70,000 black men that make $70,000 or more? 70,000. There's only 6 million of us in the United States. Yeah, we only represent 14.1% of the population with there are more women than men. There's only like 6, six 7 million of us and only 70,000 make over 70K. And um, if you wanted to have be in the 1% because I put my numbers in because I'm competing with everybody. So... The 1% is 280000 $280,000 a year. That puts you in the 1% top income earners around the world. But if you're just competing with other black males, you only need to make one seventy to be in the top 1%. $110,000 differential. Because it ain't that it, one, it's just not that many of us in comparison to white men. White men, I think there's like 115 million of them. <laughs> so that, that's one of the reasons. Uh, all right, let's talk about the consults. Fortunately, I almost bit off without you. Yeah, I'm doing consults, but I got obligations to talk to people. Remember, I did two lunches. I did the consulting lunch, $3,000. Remember that? And I got those people who I talk to every day. And then what I'm going to do at some point with the hustler, undergrad people is like uh, an open door policy but you know we're not going to do that this month uh pam let's see i used to wonder what made people say <laughs> that's funny and also i want you guys to understand i get like 250 emails a day and this is why i have to differentiate what's important because like if someone signs up for hustle undergrad that's priority. I'm going to ignore everything else and sign those people up. So that's what's going on. And then eventually once it calms down, then we'll get to these other stuff. Because uh, one of the things I had to do was stop talking to people. Because everybody wants to talk to me, but many people are not prepared to talk to me. So it's really not a productive conversation and it's not a productive use of my time. One of the things I'm going to teach you is to value your time and learn how to say no. 
because what will happen is once because some of you are going to start making money. Some of you are going to start really appreciating and making money fast. Your friends and family are going to know this and the hands are going to come out. People are going to be asking you because they're going to feel like you didn't work that hard. So you should just give them your hard earned money. People think like this is crazy. All right. Latasha. Well, having a holding company help in divorce settlements. It depends upon when it was formed. But if it was formed correctly, yes. What's up, Frankie? Lieutenant John. Yeah, because remember why I was making all those videos was just like there are not this many sponsors and ballers. Worldwide, there's like 15 million millionaires. There's like 11 million in the United States. We have more millionaires than everyone else. And there's like 600, almost 700 billionaires. But we have a general population of 339 million. It's not, it's like 4%. It's 3 to 4% of the population. So 90, let's just say 97% don't have a million dollars. 97%. But for some reason, people think all this money's out here. Uh, one man's way. Does that include athletes? Yes. You know, uh, I broke down the numbers. If you take everyone in the NBA, in the NFL, Major League Baseball, soccer, hockey, that's like 10,000 dudes. That's it. They wouldn't even fill up a section of a stadium. You know, one of these big stadiums that holds like 100,000 people. That stadium would be 90 percent empty if you took all of the athletes and stuff and the million. Yeah, all athletes, all of the ballers, the real ballers. The stadium would be 90 percent empty. I know, agent. This is why when you have people saying certain things like, you remember that trope, billionaires prefer black women? There's only 2,500 of them in the, in the world. 2,500. There's like, when you count all the black women, there's like 7 million here, a few hundred million in Africa. Um, ain't enough to go around. That's right, Mentor Shelley. Yeah, Von B. The numbers aren't that high. This is one of the things that, you know, because when you look at the data, people are just like blown away. Uh, Mr. 6000, can holding company lead to credit? to the operating business. Yes. But is, there's a way you got to do it because the company that gets the money is the company that gets the credit. Anthony, I love the disadvantaged man gaps of opportunity, man. You got to got to do the work pretty much. Uh, Daniel Mooley, will a holding company help me with child support? I will be doing a special webinar on that because there's a certain way that you got to set it up. Like if you're already on child support, it can help you, but you got to set it up a certain way. If you're not on child support, all the more reason to set one up immediately. Right, so that's it. The links are below. And once again, what's going to happen is. Aha, see, this is kind of interesting. I kind of like the faded look. But one of the reasons that I've been taking the microphone out of uh, the frame is so the camera stops doing all that. Done all these streams. I just figured out that's why my camera was all the focusing like that. And share some stuff about me. I don't take money out of the company. I'm just, I'm starting to, but I don't take money out of the company. And that's a very important reason why I've never, because you heard me say, I don't take money out of the company. I'm not on salary. There's a reason for that. And we'll talk about that.
Uh, Jonathan, uh, I'm a Forex trader outside the U.S. and don't want to pay. Let me just say this. As an American citizen, <laughs> you're supposed to pay taxes. That, that's a whole different conversation. I, I will not get into that on YouTube. Okay. So with that, um, once again, from the top, the links are below. You can choose the art of holding companies. And that option is going to go away until the end of the month. So and it'll just be because I'm probably going to do. Because I've been playing with some numbers, I'm probably going to do 199 Friday. I don't know yet because don't hold me to that. But the you know, right now it's 20 months. But if I leave the price roughly the same, I'm going to add five to 10 more months to it. So that raises the price with still leaving it affordable in my mind. I don't know if that's going to work. Well, you'll just have to come back and watch this because uh, the lag, when the video renders, there is no lag. Okay, this is really crisp because I'm looking at myself because I've been playing around with these camera settings forever. So with that, links below. You got to get in tonight because tomorrow you will not be able to get in and then Friday, I will reintroduce the new pricing and stuff. So with that, thanks for joining me. Hopefully you learned something and you've got to reduce your spending. You've got to live on less than what you make if you want to be wealthy and you want to create net worth. Because, you know, essentially my mission is if I can get a thousand people to a million dollar net worth, I've done plenty good. Probably take me a few years, but if I can get a thousand people to a million dollar net worth, I've done something. I've left a contribution to humanity. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Tell me in the comments what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.